Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. Today I'd like to show a quick demonstration on the effectiveness of a gravestone doji. A gravestone doji opens at the bottom and closes at the bottom of the trading ring. The Japanese rice traders called it the gravestone doji because they explain it as the warriors coming out of camp, going into battle, and by the end of the day being back, beaten back into camp, leaving their dead all over the field, thus the gravestone. If it occurs in the oversold condition at the bottom of a trend, a gravestone doji is your ultimate inverted hammer. And like the inverted hammer or a doji, if you see bullish confirmation, that's confirming that that reversal has, has occurred, which makes for a very simple entry. An inverted hammer, gravestone doji, if it opens positive, you can be buying immediately, and you know where your stop loss is. It shouldn't trade back below the uh, bottom of that inverted hammer, gravestone doji uh, formation. A uh, inverted hammer, I'm sorry, a uh, graystone doji up here at the overbought condition is your ultimate shooting star signal, which has the same parameters. If it opens lower the next day, you can start shorting. Witnessing a graystone doji shooting star signal in the overbought area, especially after gapping up, gives you an extremely high probability that any selling the next day confirms the reversal. The gravestone doji, like any other doji signal, is very simple to trade with the simple doji rule. The price is usually going to move in the direction of how they open after a doji. Thank you for watching.